Good evening and welcome to Pocono Mountain West High School. Live here on D11 Sports High School Basketball Game of the Week presented by St. Luke's Sports Medicine. Welcome into a good one between Pocono Mountain West and East Stroudsburg South. With the play-by-play -play this evening, I'm Mike Raymond. To my right, we have Derek Moore. He has the color commentary for this evening. And Derek, uh, the atmosphere, you can probably hear it in the yeah. background right now, is going to be a factor in what's to be two, two teams who are at the top of the standings right now. Uh, especially come over the mountain here, East Stroudsburg South, Pocono Mountain West. You know you're going to have some great basketball. And, Derek, uh, th this one's going to be a really good one today. Yeah, we're in for a good one tonight, Mike. You know, at least two teams are very familiar with each other in a similar conference, both one and two at the top, Pocono Mountain East. At the top of that comp, at the top of the standings right now, East Stroudsburg South in the hunt to get that one spot. We're in for a good one tonight. And, of course, these teams met earlier in the season, and uh, Pocono Mountain West with the, the win there, and it was a pretty decisive win. I know we talked to East Stroudsburg South head coach Sean Munford earlier today, and, you know, there's a lot of things that they need to do to correct what happened the first time around. Uh, so it's going to be on the Cavaliers to really not let Pocono Mountain West run up and down the floor like they did the first time. Yeah, they did, and I asked him what else stood out to him. He goes, they just got, they just, Pokemon East just, or excuse me, Pokemon West just controlled the intensity. They took care of the basketball, and they kept them in front of them. They kept them in front of them the whole game. They can't do that if they want to come away with the victory today. Yeah, the word that, that uh, Coach Munford used was judicious. I yeah. think he over overemphasized that word there, and uh, I, they're going to need to be because with Pocono Mountain West, you mentioned to me, you know, they just kind of reload, but I, it, it's actually inscribed on the basket in front of us, the, the, the warm-up basket with all the balls that says, Pocono Mountain West, where culture doesn't graduate. Uh, they have definitely built a program up here that is to be reckoned with, uh, and obviously there was, a, there was a huge player here a year ago in Christian Furman, but they've continued to rebuild. Yeah, Christian Furman graduate here, committed to VCU, is playing good basketball over there. But you, like, like we said earlier, they just reload, and they have two young players, a freshman and a sophomore, and their starting lineup tonight. Yeah, we're going to factor in that youth when we're talking about the game today. Both head coaches are prepared. They're very familiar with one another. Coach Rich Williams and Coach Sean Mumford sitting right next to each other when we arrived here at Pocono Mountain West. Lots to do, starting lineups on the way here, and a little bit more about the keys to the game coming coming back here from Pocono Mountain West. You're listening and watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke Sports Medicine. At St. Luke's Orthopedic Care, you can trust us with your hands, feet, shoulders, hips, and knees. Because healthy bones and joints mean you can do more. You can trust us to recommend the right approach to care, including joint sparing treatments and therapies. And when surgery is the only choice, we offer options to help you heal faster, including technology-assisted joint replacements and muscle sparing hip surgery. St. Luke's, the orthopedic care you trust, now more than ever. The team that we have put together of sport performance coaches and athletic trainers is why parents should choose St. Luke's University Health Network for their sport performance needs. St. Luke's and our coaches are going to provide the safest and most comprehensive training environment that a student athlete would want. And I, I don't think there's anything in this area that can rival it. And back out here at Pocono Mountain West Gymnasium, you're watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke's Sports Medicine. And, of course, St. Luke's is the region's largest sports medicine providing, provider covering more than 200,000 student enrollment and 40,000 student athletes in Pennsylvania and New Jersey covering eight counties and providing the most comprehensive and advanced treatment for athletic injuries. St. Luke's offers athletic training, orthopedic care, physical therapy, and concussion management, plus sports performance training for individual athletes and teams. During these extraordinary times, you can trust St. Luke's Sports Medicine to provide extraordinary care. Of course, we want to thank Ken Sidlow, Steve Andrews, Dr. John Hoff, as well for their all for all their support. Uh, in this uh, matchup tonight, where there's a lot of a lot of keys that both head coaches were focusing in on, and, and Derek, uh, a couple keys to the game. We'll start first uh, here with uh, Stroudsburg South. Execute offensively and limit turnovers. You know, we talked to Coach. Munford before when we spoke to him and he goes turnovers plagued us the last time and he also mentioned we got matched their intensity. Lemon's second chance points and controlled the transition. He thought they controlled the uh, Pokemon West controlled the tempo the last time they played and they pretty much did. The score was a factor of that 25 points a decisive victory. 
And for Pocono Mountain West with Rich Williams in his sixth year, uh, lots to uh, focus in on for the East Stroudsburg South Cavaliers. Absolutely. Pitched the ball ahead in transition. He also meant, he said pitched the ball ahead in transition. And he says whenever we share the ball as well, that's when we're more dangerous offensively. Whenever we start sharing and we start getting in mud and play selfish basketball, that's when the loss comes. He mentioned that DRF loss. He played, they th thought they didn't pass the ball and pitch in ahead in transition. It costed them the game. And, of course, uh, you want to take a look at one of those difference makers in Jay and Chapman for uh, East Stroudsburg South. He's done, a lot of, he's done a lot of great things this year. Yeah, they've really got to limit his touches tonight if they want to limit his touches if they want to beat this Cavaliers team again. Chapman averaging about 19.3 points per game this season for the Cavaliers. Very impactful on the offensive end and one of the things that Coach Rich Williams is staying up at night thinking about. So, yeah. Always you got to spot. You got to always know where he is on the basketball court right now, on, especially if you want to play – Come away and have success on defense. Always try to spy him and have a man body on him. Don't let him get loose. And uh, they're about to make the uh, announcements for the starting lineups. But before that, it sounds like we're going to be in line for the national anthem. Uh, so let's just take a minute and pause and t take that national anthem in. And a rousing rendition of the national anthem from the Pocono Mountain West. Pep band in attendance just behind us, so there'll be a factor, Derek, this evening. <laughs> yeah, and they have quite the student section growing over there. It's going to be a good atmosphere for this game tonight. Big game, and these, these students can feel it in the crowd. Well, you mentioned how big of a game it is here. Uh, the 10 and three, excuse me, the 15 and 4 Pocono Mountain West Panthers, 10 and 3 in the league, and of course. East Stroudsburg South, 16 and three overall this season, 10 and three also in the league. The only team better than both teams is Emmaus right now at 11 and two. Let's take a look at some of those starting lineups for this evening. First, we'll take a look at the East Stroudsburg South Cavaliers. They start number one, Michael Patterson, the 5'8 senior guard. Logan Santos, 6'2 senior guard. Jay and Chapman, who we'd already talked about a little bit. Yeah, you always, always have to have a body on him or else he'll make your life Life miserable on the offense. An, an impactful sophomore standing at six foot. Uh, he is also a guard. Your forward is Chris Green. It's Michael Green, but 6'1 senior. And Jamal Watts, your 6'3 center, number 45, your starters. And for Pocono Mountain West, we know his name. We're going to be calling it a lot this evening, Derek. It's number zero, Juju Pagan, 6'3 junior, excuse me, senior guard. They run four guards in this one. Uh, K.J. Cole, 6'2", freshman guard. Devin Artis, 5'10", junior guard. And Day Day Smith, the last guard, standing at 6'4". He is a senior. And they will start Adrian Brito, 6'5", sophomore forward. Yeah, Padgham, we're going to be calling his name a lot. 30 points the last time these two teams met. 
if they poke him out, eat, poke him out west, wants to beat this team again, look at him to have another big game offensively. The first meeting on December, ne no, December 9th was 68 to 53 in the favor of Pocono Mountain West. Uh, again, we harp back to that one because we, this is something that we really focused on with both, co both coaches in the pregame. It's an important part of focus, refocusing their efforts for this evening. Yeah, refocusing their efforts, and they, these players know it too. Speaking with Coach Munford, he knew he knows what his team did wrong. He's going to try to do that. But also, Coach Williams is smart enough to know we still got to make adjustments, even though we had a decisive win. Look for both these coaches to make the necessary adjustments to come away with a win today, especially on the East Stroudsburg soft side. Our support this evening is brought to you by Gross McGinley. The world of name, image, and likeness can be complicated in the high school and collegiate athletics of the Lehigh Valley. Need guidance to navigate the complexities of endorsements and sponsorships. The sports law attorneys at Gross McKinley are dedicated to educating and assisting the area's local athletes on the ins and outs of NIL. Call 610-820-5450 or visit grossmcginley.com for more information as the Cavaliers control the ball off the tip. It is Michael Patterson bringing the ball up, bringing it around the top of the key. Jay and Chapman, who we talked about in the pregame, a factor there, gets it back over to Patterson. South content to work it around the outside of the perimeter. Nice shot fake there by Chapman, but don't get to the front of the rim there. Good ball movement early on by East Stroudsburg South. A great pump face by pump fake by Brito goes into the lane, gets fouled. That is the first foul of the evening. And we'll take another look at it here. Let's take another look here. Brito driving, being aggressive, driving, draws the contact, gets a little banged up. Looks like he got hit in the face. So shooting foul here. An opportunity for the first points of the evening by Adrian Brito. Does not have a lot of experience from the charity stripe this, e this year. He is 0 for 1 tonight. Talking to Coach Williams before the game, he also mentioned that Berto has stepped up as a leader, and just not as a player, but as a leader for this team in the absence of Christian Fremen from last year. Berto 1 for 2 from the charity stripe to start things out. And Pocono Mountain West on the board first, 1-0. I hope you're settled in at home for this one. Two top teams in the EPC. Saved yourself the drive from the Lehigh Valley. We got you covered here as Juju Pagan with the steal. Layup is blocked. That is Michael Green for East Stroudsburg South. Great job by Michael Green getting back in transition. Swatting that ball away. Shot up no good by K.J. Coles. We mentioned the freshman in Coles. A little bit in the pregame. Nice fast break opportunity for the Cavs. But excellent defense underneath the basket and a jump ball called there. Possession arrow favors Pocono Mountain West. Both these teams playing great defense below the basket, not allowing any easy points. Easy below the basket points, layups, fast breaks. Doing a good job protecting beneath the net. Cavaliers pressuring full court. And looks like we got called uh, with a foot on the line as KJ Coles with the turnover there for the Panthers and East Stroudsburg South looking to get their first points of the night. East Stroudsburg South doing, doing what po Pocono Mount West did to them early on in the first matchup, straight press defense and double teams. Seeing South continuing to work it around the perimeter. They do have Chapman flashing down the lane and a turnover underneath the basket as Brito comes up with the ball for Pocono Mountain West. Pushing the pace a little bit here it are the Panthers. Shot up no good by Devin Artis. Healthy three by Artis. Devin Smith with a no-look pass there. Devin Smith, who they like to call Day-Day around these parts. It's always great when you have a nickname, right? And a kiss to the sky for Logan Santos. Gets the Cavs on the board with a three-point basket. A lot of pressure here after the 
Three-point basket made. Santos applying the pressure. Both oh, you can't leave him wide open. Can't leave Ju Juju Pagan wide open. He gets three points and answers right back as Pocono Mountain West takes the lead back. Like you just said, Mike, he answers right back with a three of his own. Can't leave him uncovered. Just can't. I mean, he's the best player out on the field, out of the court this evening. Got to account for him. Absolutely. Nice bucket up and good by Jayen Chapman. He is the leading scorer for East Stroudsburg South at 19.3 points per game. And another turnover on the far sideline. And looks like, yep, East Stroudsburg South taking possession here. A couple mental mistakes early on for Pocono Mountain West in the offensive zone. Absolutely, but we know what stood out to me so far. Both these teams are a little bit similar on both strategies of their game. Pass the ball, facilitate, look for the open shot, and then pressure on defense both with double teams and just full court press pressure. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that full court pressure from the Cavs. Oh, off the hands there of Michael Green and West going in transition, up no good. It was Devin Artis with the shot attempt for the Panthers. Coast to coast basket by Logan Santos. Logan Santos, five points already early on. Great moves, coast to coast, like you said. Just coming away for trying to push in the court. And another turnover on offense as that went off the hands of Day Day Smith. Love the energy by this East Strasburg South squad. They know what happened. No, you don't think they remember that last meeting back in December. They have it in the back of their minds, and they've come to play up here on Pocono Mountain, Pocono Mountain West's court. Some great open looks so far for South. And they've taken advantage on the offensive end. Going to his right is Chapman. Bucket up and good. Four points for Chapman tonight. And the fans right behind us. This atmosphere is rocking here up on top of the mountain. Off the glass and good. And for the first points this evening, that's Adrian Brito. Excuse me, that is his third point. He did have the foul shot earlier on. Both these teams trying to look and take control of the tempo, working inside now. Early on, it was a bunch of mid-range and three balls. That one up off the glass, no good. Michael Green with the shot attempt. And fouled underneath is Jamal Watts. And he will get a shooting foul here as we get another look here. Get yeah, another look here, working down. Mid-range, no good. Comes away with the rebound is Pajan. And Watts, Watts is a guy who uh, I believe they did not have in the first game oh. that coach uh, Sean Munford has, expects to have a pretty big impact on this game as he has the foul shot up and good. They also didn't have Michael Green back, they didn't have Michael Green in this meeting as well. They get him back as well. So perhaps a new look East Stroudsburg South team. You know, Mike, the one thing about that meeting back in December, it was so early on in the season, a lot of teams are trying to figure out their identities, both defensively and offensively. I think this East Strasburg South team has an identity. We already know what Pocono Mount West's identity is. Fast pace, pressure defense, facilitate, share the ball. And also the fact that, you know, that Pocono Mountain West has a fair amount of youth. I know there was some discussion before the game with Coach Williams about some of the losses that they've had on this season. I know the loss for Deer came up. Yeah. I know the loss uh, the next day to Scranton Prep also came up. The youth kind of showing in that moment, and they need that. They need the young people to have a, a big impact on the game. As shot up on the back iron, no good. It's slammed home by Jayen Chapman. Wow, what a heck of a basket here. And Let's William, take another look here. Williams is going to go talk this over. What a free ball is no good by poking him out west. Co comes away with it, pushes the floor. Good pass, good pass by Michael Patterson to number five, Jane Chapman. Chapman has come to play and he threw it down with authority and he is setting the tempo very early on for his squad. I'm gonna send the signal to our producer, Sean, and make sure you earmark that one for the post game because that is highlight reel material there by Jay and Chapman. While we have a moment, if you're watching on our live stream, we wanna encourage you, if you're a student from any District 11 school and are interested in broadcasting journalism or photography, check out d11sports.com. Follow your dream and get close to the action as you take part in our student internship program. For more information, call 
Contact your athletic director or reach out to Al or Dave at d11sports.com. Quick timeout, quick reset. Settle his boys down, did Rich Williams. They got to break that press that South has been applying. From the outside, deep down is K.J. Coles with a three-point bucket. And that one was tipped out by Pocono Mountain South, or what, excuse me, Pocono Mountain West. There's too many directionals here. They feel like I'm at directional Michigan schools <laughs> all over again. <laughs> very fast-paced game, very on. You can feel the energy not only in the stands, but on this court as well. As we approach the two-minute mark here in the first quarter. Can't leave Chapman wide open like that. Off the front iron and good as Jay and Chapman pours in his eighth point for this evening as South ahead 16 to nine. And I don't know if we expected this so far. A lot of turnovers by West causing the deficit. And a foul in the lane. And it looks like Juju Pagan rec receiving that one. It was Xavier Carnegie on the foul for East Stroudsburg South. A lot of turnovers early on by Pokemon Mount West, but they're also getting some healthy looks beyond the arc too. Artis having the ball swatted away, double teamed underneath the basket, looking for someone to dish it off to. And he does find a wide open man in James Stewart, not able to bring it home, and here comes South. Looking at this, nice spin move, finds the man underneath is number 21, Michael Green, not able to make it go. I believe that was block, blocked by Brito down low. Pagan handling the ball for West. Brito, little spin move into the lane, it's gonna set the pick. And it looks like South has come ready to play against Juju Pagan for West. Early on, Mike, it almost looks like a little bit as that three is up and in. That's Jonathan Mateo off the bench for Pocono Mountain West. And under a minute to go here in the first. Coach Williams mentioned that Mateo is a key contributor off that bench. Ah, hand in and looks to be a slot. Oh, a little bit too aggressive as K.J. Coles, excuse me, Devin Artis was in there looking to swat the ball away from South. And wow, it's almost like there's a lot of South fans here this evening. There is a lot of South fans. Again, East Stroudsburg South 16-3 and three this season, 10-3 and three in the EPC. Let's take a look at those EPC standards at halftime. That's those standings uh, with Emmaus doing very well this season as a surprise team. But has lost a few recently. Another reach-in foul by Devin Artis. That's one you don't want, and it looks like Coach Rich Williams may look to sub him out at the end of the first here and bring back in K.J. Coles. And that's exactly what happens. Especially with a player like Artis that Coach Williams said he believes he is the best, of, best defender and he's in foul trouble very early on in a key game. That's going to pay very dividends down the lows, and watch that. Watch that if you're at home. Nice fake there by Patterson of South. Goes through the legs, looking to get it to Chapman, then does some work off the screen there. Green underneath, an opportunity, pump fake, and it spins down home that will count Michael Green with the basket to end quarter number one. Green not, didn't play in the first matchup, getting a taste of, taste of some action right now. And to 12. your score after one, 18 to 12. You are watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke Sports Medicine. I believe that St. Luke's and our coaches are going to provide the safest and most comprehensive training environment that a student athlete would want. Hopefully they, they come to us and, and they leave and there's not another need to be filled. We provide it all. There's not another orthopedic group, sports medicine group, healthcare system in the country that has high level, degree certified, years of experience. On the ground, go! Every coach, every parent 
they, they want what's best for their student. Okay, they want what's gonna help them be the best version of themselves. And so that's what we can provide. I don't think there's anything in this area that can rival. And welcome back to Pocono Mountain West High School as we have an 18 to 12 score with East Stroudsburg South on top of Pocono Mountain West and a battle of two teams at the top of the EPC. This one very important and very impressive thus far. Patterson, nice dish, and Green not able to get it to go. Gets his own rebound, and Bucket goes in for Michael Green, his fourth point of the night. Green being very physical down low. Two straight points for Michael Green down low in this Cavaliers squad. And really the, the story of the first quarter really has to be the turnovers on offense by Pocono Mountain West uh, has, has led for some free points and possessions for South as Jay and Chapman get a little handsy there. Turnovers, I think the I think East Oxford South has come out with a little bit more intensity. Coach Munford wanted to match, they did, believe they didn't match intensity the last time and he's doing a good job of making this making his squad a little bit more intense, playing a little bit more physical down low as well. All right, got Juju Pagan handling the ball. Finds K.J. Coles on the outside. It was up no good. And I believe that was, was that Brito? Brito. Brito gets his fifth point of the evening with the rebound and the bucket. So that is... Okay, Green trying his luck from beyond the arc. Not able to get it to go, but turned over there by Brito, who pokes it out again. Pocono Mountain West regaining possession and a foul away from the ball as a <laughs> couple turnover swaps there. Turnovers by both teams there, back and forth turnovers. Take another look here. Guys getting aggressive here. Good poke by Brito. And away from the ball foul. His possession to West. All right, Juju Pagan bringing it up for West. South going away from the pressure defense. And will opt for man-to-man -man here. And the, wow, all five defenders collapsing on Juju Pagan as he went down the lane. And I guess that's what you're supposed to do, right, if you're a player like him. Yeah, you always have to have a body on him, and they're not trying to have him drive and get some easy points. They want him to make him earn everything from the mid range and probably beyond the arc, too. Only three points for Juju so far. Done a good job this half of containing him, but there's still a lot of time left in this ball game in this half. And of course, you, when you go to the half, you have the opportunity for halftime adjustments. And one of those focuses has to be to get him the ball just a little bit more. On the outside, Day Day Smith gets it out to Jonathan Mateo. Gets a down low to Adrian Brito. He finds Day Day Smith wide open there as. He gets no luck off the iron. Fast to the hole, kind of a little bit out of control there as Logan Santos shot down the, the lane a little while, but possession staying with South. Looks like we got a foul. Elbow away from the ball, and West will get the ball here. A lot of away from the, away from the ball fouls this early on in this game, Mike. I'm not, I'm not surprised. You have to stay aggressive, and both of these two teams are. They have been, they have been, like you said, they have to be aggressive, and they have to always have bodies on some of these offensive players and match intensity on defense. I think there's about three or four guys in these starting lineups that can hurt you offensively. It's interesting to watch South playing defense because they're looking to get the ball to Pagan, uh, but as soon as that ball changes possession, changes hands, the defense two, collapses. Two defenders always on them. Oh, almost an opportunity for an alley-oop there as Dede Smith off the back iron, no good. Transition opportunity for South. Nice behind the back there by Jay and Chapman. And look to the Cavs to reset here offensively. Oh, Mateo was waiting for that one. Foul called again away from the ball as the foul called on Dede Smith. He'll head to the sidelines. 
Coming in for West is Brady Bear. West doing a West doing a good job trying to make Chapman uncomfortable. Jane Chapman uncomfortable, throwing double teams at him, trying to get poke at the ball away. Mateo with his hand full having to cover Chapman on this one. The double team with Bear here. Nice double clutch by Chapman. That's not able to go though. And rebound coming the other way. And here's that transition that we were expecting from West. And there's two points from Juju Pagan. Only three points in quarter number one. Gets on the board in quarter number two with a nice layup there. It was only a matter of time before he got his, got his touches and get his, got his points. Timeout here by East Stroudsburg South. Opportunity for a sponsor read for our sponsors, Gross McGinley. The world of name, image, and likeness can be complicated, and the high school and college athletes of the Lehigh Valley need guidance to navigate the complexities of endorsements and sponsorships. The sports law attorneys at Gross McGinley are dedicated to educating and assisting the area's local athletes on the ins and outs of NIL. Call 610-820-5450 or visit grossmcginley.com for more information. Thank Gross McGinley, attorneys at law, for their support of D11 Sports. Right now, 20 to 16 is the score. East Strasburg South still on top here, the road team, who is obviously well represented here with the fans. Jane Chapman on the baseline there, and it looks like a turnover. That's one of the few turnovers we've seen so far thus far for South. And very few turnovers by South. They've done a good job of taking care of the basketball and taking away the inside offensively for West, uncharacteristic of this squad er, in this ball game. Ball brought up by Ky Kian Cole, it should be KJ Coles. Looking to set the screen for Pagan. Three point bucket, up no good. Rebound comes to South as they'll reset. Drive to the bucket, shot up no good. That's Xavier Carnegie. And looks like the ball will be going the other way as South, the last ones to touch it there. Some substitutions in. Day Day Smith coming back into the game for Pocono Mountain West. KJ Coles looking to break down Patterson here, who's playing defense. A screen by Day Day Smith. Pagan fouls down the hole. Wow, there was an answer there. Big number 45, Jamal Watts, standing in the way of Pagan's streak down the lane. Yeah, he puts the streak to that, fouled in motion. As they see there, Pagan trying to get, Pokemon Mount West trying to get the ball in Pagan's hands. Has, what, South has done a good job of not allowing any easy points to him. Draws the foul, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Five points on the evening for Juju Pagan. First shot up and good for number six. Michael Patterson going out of the game for East Stroudsburg South. Dante Williams in for the Cavs. Second shot no good as Juju Pagan, one from two from the charity stripe. He is a 78% free throw shooter on the year. Jay and Chapman, another bucket. That is point number 10 Back for this evening. Back in the game, gets an automatic touch. All the way across the court. Mateo open, shot up, no. No contact with the backboard or the rim. Opportunity, nothing but net for Jayen Chapman. Five, Five points this quarter. Five straight points. Checks back into the game, no problem. 25-17 the score, East Stroudsburg South. Day Day Smith getting a field goal from the field. That is his first points this evening. As the two point bucket up and good for the 6'4 senior guard. Really coming out there on defense too is Day Day. 
Great ball handling skills there off the back foot. Chapman no good. And West coming in transition with Pagan going hard to the hoop. Two hands, blocking foul, bucket good as Juju Pagan making his presence felt here in quarter number two. Very quiet first, first quarter for Pagan, but you can only keep him contained for so long. Floor, spreads to floor, controls it. Right-handed layup, draws the contact. He'll go to the line for the end one opportunity and gets his crowd back into it. Eight points so far for Pagan. Extra shot up and good for point number nine. And he's come alive here in quarter number two. Very much so. You can only contain him so for so so much so often, and hopefully you can just match counter punch and counter punch with this with him with and Chapman. Ch and Chapman has been the story thus far in the first half, but second quarter, Juju Pagan has come alive. Patterson head fake, stutter step. That's going to be an interesting defense. Oh, double team, and they're going to call the foul with the hand on Day Day Smith, which I really think it might have been Pagan. To, <laughs> they might have gave it, given him a little bit of a, a free pass on that one and assigned it to Day-Day Smith. Yeah, but that, his, his fouls are starting to rack up here. Kind of expected of something like this in this game if fouls would come early, early on, especially where they need to match physicality and intensity. A lot of off-the-ball fouls, on-the-ball foul there, but not surprising. Great drive to the basket by Patterson, not able to get it to go. He does get the rebound. And they are looking to trap the ball early on. That is a jump ball with possession arrow going to Pocono Mountain West. And defense has come alive here as the lead has shrunk. A three-point south lead coming down on under a minute and a half to go in the half. Yeah, you mentioned, Mike, minute and a half to go in this half. And Pocono Mountain West, despite all their turnovers, are only down three. Yeah, some great adjustments thus far by head coach Rich Williams and his staff. Let's see how close they can make it towards the end of this half as West continues. Oh, looks like a couple extra steps there and a lost possession as they get Brito for the travel. Minute 10 to go here from Pocono Mountain West at the half. Get a first half recap, talk to a coach. And another travel called, this time on East Stroudsburg South. Come on, Watts. Possession's Down flipping on. here, Derek. Yeah, possession's flipping here. Possession's flipping here. Watts takes too many steps down low. Officials saw it, they called it. Under one minute to go now with West looking to make their presence felt here and complete the second quarter comeback. KJ Coles has it, looks to drive. That defense does collapse. Anytime any of the Pocono Mountain West players go into the lane, that defense collapses down. They want to force him to beat him beyond the arc, not give him any easy points down low. Smart strategy by Coach Munford. Pagan resetting. Some great ball handling here. They might look for last shot here. Nice deflection there on Logan Santos. He gets another loose ball, and nice way to dive on it, and they're gonna call the foul on Juju Pagan. And South will take over under 20 seconds to go. Logan Santos giving up his body for this possession, a final few moments, final few seconds of this half. It's that quick, quick, quick twitch ability there by East Stroudsburg South to get their hands in those passing lanes and make it more difficult. A lot of turnovers for West. That's something they got to clean up at half number two. I'm sure that's going to be adjusted by Rich Williams at half, and he's going to have to figure out how he can beat this pressure in double-team defense down low because the shots aren't falling from beyond the arc or mid-range. Under 10 to go. Here is South. Patterson drives. Shot up no good as Joseph DeJesus turns the ball over. And there will be one opportunity with about five seconds to go on the clock. De Jesus just couldn't handle the pass by Patterson there. Turns the ball over. And West can have an opportunity to come away with a free and tie it going into the half, depending on what they decide to do. And Sean Mumford making the signal from the bench. The signal is pressure defense. Don't let them get a shot up here. They'll go to Brady Bear to inbound the ball. And hopefully get a shot up here with 4.9 to go. 
KJ Coles brings it over in mid court. Shot up, three point bucket, no good. Halftime score will be 25 22 with the East Stroudsburg Cavaliers, your leader at the half. Story much of this half, Mike, or turnovers. You're currently watching the 11 sportscom Game of the Week presented by St. Luke's Sports Medicine. St. Luke's Orthopedic Care. Extraordinary care in motion. And welcome back out to Pocono Mountain West High School. You're watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke's Sports Medicine. East Stroudsburg South ahead 25-22. We go down to the court and talk to Dave Micah, who's with head coach Sean Munford. All right, we're with East Stroudsburg South head coach Sean Munford. Sean, thoughts on the first half? Intense. You know, both teams came out fighting. Um, it's going to be like that for the rest of the game. It's going to be a tough one. You know, you, I thought your defense really ignited your offense. Thoughts on that? Yeah, we have to play. You know, they're so good. If you don't get back and load the floor and play solid defense, they can run you out the gym like they did the first time. So I'm happy with our effort. Not happy with our foul trouble, but happy with our effort so far. Thank you, Coach. Good luck second half. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Dave Micah, on the court for us doing the halftime interviews. As the halftime score, 25-22. want to thank Dave Mike, of course, Al DiCarlo back home. I know he's watching. Got always, oh, he's always watching, Derek. He's always watching. He's always us. watching. And, uh, and, great, and a great op opportunity to see two of the top teams in the APC here this evening. And uh, what, what were your thoughts going, coming out of the first half? I know what Sh Coach Mumford pointed out. What do you think? You know, Coach Mumford said it back. He said the first half was intense. And, Mike, you can honestly feel the intensity in this crowd, but in the players on the court. He said, like, to, he said to us during the pregame, he didn't feel like we matched their intensity. I think they did a good job of setting the intensity and controlling the tempo and transition for a long time. On the t and they were very aggressive, both offensively and defensively. On the west side of things, I think that turnovers plagued them. I didn't think there were some strat, some strat selections weren't the healthiest from the mid-range. Look for them to try to spread the ball a little bit more and attack down low. For sure. And uh, I want to thank Gross McGinley once again. The world of name, image, and likeness can be com complicated, and the high school and college athletes of the Lehigh Valley need guidance to navigate the complexities of endorsements and sponsorships. The lo sports law attorneys at Gross McGinley are dedicated to educating and assisting the area's local athletes on the ins and outs of NIL. Call 610-820-5450 or visit grossmcginley.com for more information. St. Luke's is the region's largest sports medicine provider, covering more than 200,000 student enrollment and 40,000 student athletes in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, covering eight counties and providing the most comprehensive and advanced treatment for athletic injuries. St. Luke's offers athletic training, orthopedic care, physical therapy, and concussion management plus sports performance training for individual athletes and teams. During these extraordinary times, you can trust St. Luke's Sports Medicine to provide extraordinary care. Hat tip to Ken Sidlow, Dr. John Hoff, Steve Andrews over there at St. Luke's for all of their support. And uh, I, I think there's a couple other things I want to touch on this half, but well, let, let's do that on the other side there. A yeah. couple, couple things that I want to touch on, so stick around. we got some EPC standings to share with you here this evening, but your halftime score right now from Pocono Mountain West High School, East Stroudsburg South on top, 25 to 22. We'll be back with more. You're watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke Sports Medicine. I believe that St. Luke's and our coaches are going to provide the safest and most comprehensive training environment that a student athlete would want. Hopefully they, they come to us and, and they leave and there's not another need to be filled. Your daughter or son's team can come to us and we provide it all. On the ground, go! The team atmosphere and the, the team that we have put together of sport performance coaches and athletic trainers is why parents should choose St. Luke's University Health Network for their sport performance needs. There's not another orthopedic group, sports medicine group, healthcare system in the country that has high level degree certified, 
years of experience. Bench, hip thrust, or floor, we know where block A is, and then let me get another group of seven. Certified athletic trainers and the performance coaches are assigned to schools, and they are there, and they are getting the teams and doing team training around sports schedules and, and, and the student activity schedules. That's primarily where it's done. We also have provide uh, training here, like at this facility. We provide a comprehensive training program that is the most up-to-date training advancements. It's the safest it can be. We got our AWOCs, remember, good A lot about gimmicks. Our, our guys are all educated and have the science behind what they're doing, a rhyme or reason of what they're doing. And we have leadership that will make sure that we're gonna provide the best service there is. We actually care about your kids. I'm focusing on getting my butt back and my chest up. People don't know how to use this stuff. And so you, you need someone to teach them and to help them navigate it in a way that's gonna be productive, that's not gonna hurt them. They trust me to put together a workout and they're always asking questions about it, which is great. You know, I wanted them to have that trust that you know, I'm gonna help them succeed on and off the court. Every coach, every parent, they, they want what's best for their student. Okay? They want what's gonna help them be the best version of themselves. And so that's what we can provide. I don't think there's anything in this area that can rival it. And welcome back to Pocono Mountain West High School. You're watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke Sports Medicine. Mike Raymond here with Derek Moore, live watching East Stroudsburg South with the halftime lead over Pocono Mountain West, 25-22. And I think we were talking to Dave Micah during the break, and we were just saying how East Stroudsburg South really did set the tone with the defense and, and how much they pressured the ball against Pocono Mountain West in the first half, specifically the first quarter, and allowed them to get out to that early lead. Yeah, you mentioned we mentioned that, like we said, mentioned that off air. You know, it almost seems like they rep, they always just took the Pocono Mountain East or took Pocono Mountain West playbook. Yeah, and they master master intensity, play double team defense, straight press defense, a lot of pressure, a lot of it, we're going to turn our press defense into transition into turn it into offense, allowed to get quality shots and fast break points. And, and if their hands have been aggressive. They've been putting hands in lanes. They've been trying to strip balls. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you can kind of say that on both sides, too, but I, specifically East Stroudsburg South coming out and setting the tone defensively. But, but again, I think what we saw then is, is Pocono Mountain West reset. Coach Rick, Rich Williams took time, called timeout, really evaluated how to get his best players the ball, and that's why we saw – Six points in the second half, excuse me, the second quarter from Juju Pagan, who has nine for the for the game so far. Yeah, uh, well, he, he's going to be the reason they come back in this game yeah, if they do. Yeah, Juju Pagan, you can only contain him, and you always have to. Plan. And he, Coach Rich Rich Williams did a great job of getting him the getting him the ball, but Pagan also took it matters upon his hands to run the floor, and we saw that right before he went went to break him him driving into the lane for a full court driving into the lane from full court from all the way from the other end and getting an easy two point easy two points and sh and drawing the contact and shooting foul converting it and of course for the East Stroudsburg South Cavaliers Jay and Chapman continues to be the story of the evening he comes out with that 8 10 13 points as the leading scorer for the game this evening uh, again, Jay and Chapman, only a sophomore, but does average close to 20 points a game. Uh, they're going to have to shut him down on the defensive side to Spokane Mountain West. What can they do to really help out defensively? A lot of those points, Mike, came when he was open beyond the arc. You always have to have a body or some a presence on him. I would expect him to try to, when he gets suffocated in a lane with a double team down low, double team down low, and always make sure, remind my team, always have a body on him, always have eyes on him. All right, let's take a look at the EPC standings for around the league. And, uh, of course, with these two teams in the North Division, Pocono Mountain West undefeated to this point. They are down three at the half. And East Stroudsburg South just behind them at five and two, doing some really great things. What are some thoughts that you have from around the EPC? West, West continuing to dom well, not, I want to say dominate, but control their own destiny in the North. And South really wants this win to have a chance in if they want to come away with first place first place and along with Emmaus playing they're playing really well basketball Central Catholic they had they started off slow now they're five and two in their con in the Western Conference a lot of it's going to come down to a wire for a lot of these conferences both from north to uh, east and west 
Yeah, I mean, it, a lot of a lot of teams that you wouldn't expect to lose early on did mm -hmm. lose, uh, which which of course Central Catholic got things righted. Bethlehem Catholic also got things righted. Uh, doesn't reflect that in the standings, but they do have some big wins on this season. Uh, as we start out here in the second half, looks like East Stroudsburg South will get the ball just under a minute to go here. Again, if you're a student from any District 11 school and are interested in broadcasting, journalism, or photography, check out the11sports.com. Follow your dream and get close to the action as you take part in our student internship program. For more information, contact your athletic director or reach out to Al or Dave at d11sports.com. Another thing about the standings, Mike, before we get this half underway, I think there's a lot of teams... It's a very balanced league. It's filled with a lot of talent, too. There's no dominant team, as you see that with the dominant team. All right. Starting out in the second half, Jay and Chapman looking to inbound the ball for South as they're stacked right at half court. And they will be going right to left as you see it on your TV screen. Chapman inbounding, inbounding to Ma Michael Patterson here. Again, a 25-22 Cavalier lead. Jamal Watts out the top of the circle. Whoa, there we go. Some balls bouncing around all over the place down there. And it looks like Michael Green looking to drive the lane. Really great shift for Michael Patterson to get the bucket off the glass for his two first two points of the night here in the third quarter. South doing a very good job of distributing the ball, facilitating, always looking for the extra pass. And what a move by Patterson to get open. He has 62 assists on the year. Didn't catch who that was on the Brito. first. Brito. Was it Brito? There we go. Another two points for him. Ten points on the night for Brito as Chapman down low gets fouled by K.J. Coles. Another look at that one here. Looking at the King, continuing to get Chapman his touches. And Good job by Chapman drawing the contact, too. He'll look to make an impact here from the charity stripe. His shot up and good. And Mateo coming back in for Pocono Mountain West. We said we were going to see a lot of him. Rich Williams really relying on him to make an impact off the bench as Chapman's second shot up no good. And here comes West. And Mateo looks to make an impact off the bench. Since his team's so steep, he's forced to the bench, but I think he's able to start on some other teams too. A scrum for the ball. That'll be a jump ball, and it'll stay with Pocono Mountain West here. Four point lead for East Stroudsburg South coming in as the guests here this evening at Pocono Mountain West. Yeah, Day Day Smith looking to inbound, does find KJ Coles. Not able to handle it down low is Brito. And here comes South, Patterson driving. Layup up and good off the glass, and four points real quick in the third quarter by Michael Patterson, the 5'8 senior guard. Points off the of turnovers is going to drive Coach Rich Williams crazy, and another one on display there. There's Pagan going up and not able to answer there. Patterson gets the rebound, and coming in transition is able to get out to Santos. Fires across court and finds Jay and Chapman. Not able to go, but Santos with the rebound and the bucket and another timeout by Rich Williams. Heads up play by Santos to come away with the rebounds, offensive rebound and doing the reverse right-handed layup. And, and Santos, that is his seventh point of the evening, was quiet in the second quarter, but has made a big impact here. Has made it in has made an impact. And who is going to else step up in this quarter to help Jane Chapman out? And Santos has up and up to that task. And Santos averaging about 17 and a half points per game, a little below his average at this point, sitting at seven. Uh, but I, I expect he will be a, a guy they look to to get more involved in the second half. Yeah, it can't just be Chat. It can't just be Chapman. This game of Chapman right now. Other guys are going to need to step up. You're on the road. You're going to need multiple players to step up. 
Right now your score 32-24, an eight point East Stroudsburg South lead with six minutes, five seconds on the third quarter clock. And Coach Rich Williams has got to figure out how to stop this fast break offense for East Stroudsburg South. And, and of course, playing a little bit cleaner too. I think that's another focus. Got to play a little cleaner than they have been. They did a good job in the second quarter of playing a little bit cleaner. And now those first half problems are now creeping into this quarter. A lot of respect by both of these guys for one another. You know, both very positive about one another before the game we were talking uh, with Coach Sean Munford and Coach Rich Williams. Uh, but this is going to be a very interesting end of the game here between these two teams. Both teams familiar with one another, and both coaches were mixing it up, talking to each other during the JV game. you got to like that play. K.J. Coles with a three-point bucket. His sixth point of the night, his second three-pointer, and that's a huge basket for Pocono Mountain West. Much needed, much needed basket for Pocono Mountain West. KJ Cole comes away at the top of the arc three. And there's Santos yet again, and that one going off of Brito out of bounds. West didn't seem to think that was the case. I think I think it was. <laughs> I think Rich Williams, ha Coach Rich Williams, has a case. You think so? I think so. All right. Your eyes are younger and probably better than mine. <laughs> As Michael Green driving the lane and finds wide open Jamal Watts for the bucket. Four points on the night for Jamal Watts. as another two-point basket for East Stroudsburg South. Now Mateo running point there. Kind of interesting, trying to get Coles in space. Came off the screen last time, was able to hit a three-point bucket. This time, Day Day Smith off the front iron, no good. Rebound south, and here they come in transition. Day Day Smith did everything right but the finish. He's going to want that one back. And he's also getting another, fouling again. That, that's got to be num how much, which number? We got at least three on Day Day at this point. He's going to be close to foul trouble soon, and that's why Coach Rich Williams is going to look to Brady Bear to come in and relieve him. Looking to get into foul trouble here in the third quarter is Day Day Smith. Patterson hits the deck. A little bit of a rough screen. And here is Santos finding Chapman. That one no good off the front iron. Rebounding Coles the other way. Brady Bear wide open for three. Front iron no good. He had a good look though. Past two looks from beyond the arc have been good quality looks for West. They're going with that one. Both those opportunities back. Patterson no good from Long. Bear with the rebound. West in transition. KJ Coles, Mateo looking to shoot there. Didn't take it. Double team coming on Brito. And Jujo Pagan gets the first points for him in the second half. He's up to eight, excuse me, 11 at this point in the game. KJ Coles looking to drive. Watts coming over to meet him and he will get the foul. And Coles down on the court here. He hit the, he hit the floor hard. So take another look here at the replay. Looks like he might have hit his head. He comes to his feet. Yeah, Just needs a, a quick breather. Looks like this. And these are some big free throws, free throws looming for West. At the charity stripe is Jonathan Mateo. And KJ Cole's taking a little bit of extra time here. It's going to be tough going to the free throw line after hitting the deck like that. Let's see if it affects the shot at all. Rolled out and in. Check that in then out. Yeah. 
He'll go to the bench a little bit more here as Watts comes out. And Xavier Carnegie coming in. Cole's second shot up is good. Seven points this evening for K.J. Coles, the 6'2 freshman guard for Pocono Mountain West. 34-30, four-point game. West chipping away. But we've seen West get close, and then ultimately South kind of pulls back away. You know, they've been within four, within five. Then it goes back up to eight, and then it comes back down to four. Yeah. They've been within almost. They've been within three, four, five. Now it's time for the it looks. They're looking to get multiple stops on defense. And Coles is, looks like Coles is going to come out. Looks like checked out. Quick, quick athletic trainer meeting with uh, KJ Coles coming in to relieve him is going to be Ethan Sakwa. His first action of the evening. Nice block there by Adrian Brito. Michael Green, wide open layup as uh, beat his defender there. A very impactful game thus far for Brito. Brito doing it all down low, offensively and defensively. Multiple blocks in this game. Nine points this evening for Adrian Brito. Excuse me. 12 points for Brito. South moving the ball around the perimeter and there's a travel underneath as Michael Green took the extra step. And this, if there was a time for a three point basket, I think right now would be it. Pagan tried to, Pagan tried a corner three just fell a little bit short. Some of these three balls early on in this half are falling a little bit short. They're getting the needed, much needed stops on defense, Mike, but they have it, they've gotten a little bit cold from beyond the arc compared to the, in the first quarter. Yeah, we're very successful in the first quarter, but South coming out to meet them at the three-point line. Bear getting in trouble there. Sakwa underneath. Pagan, nice dribble. Drive, layup up no good. Brito with the rebound though, and there he is again. Six points this quarter. Brito doing a nice job getting that, but he had Mateo wide open in the corner for three. Good thing they came away with points or they might want that possession back. Shot up no good. Sakwa with the rebound for West. A foul there, unnecessary foul by Michael Green. Frustration foul. Got called for the travel on his last offensive possession. And it looks like KJ Cole's back in. Got checked by the trainer. Looks good. And he looks rested. This, this pace of this game, you guys are probably getting tired soon quickly too. And a foul away from the ball as Juju Pagan took one to the face. And then Michael Green has something to say about that. Doesn't quite agree with the call. Jay and Chapman having to calm Green down a little bit. And I think a well-deserved timeout by Sean Munford as he wants to just calm the emotions a little bit. 36-32, minute 47 to go, quarter number three. St. Luke's is the region's largest sports medicine provider covering more than 200,000 student athlete, and, excuse me, student enrollment and 40,000 student athletes in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, covering eight counties and providing the most comprehensive and advanced treatment for athletic injuries. St. Luke's offers athletic training, orthopedic care, physical therapy, and concussion management, plus sports performance training for individual athletes and teams. During these extraordinary times, you can trust St. Luke's Sports Medicine to provide extraordinary care. I want to thank Ken Sidlow, Dr. John Hoff, Steve Andrews over there for all of their support. And what do you think Coach Mumford's saying in the huddle here, Derek? Well, first, I think there was a very good, smart timeout by Coach Mumford. I think he said, you guys, we got guys, we got to calm down. We can't afford these fouls and put them almost nearly into the bonus right now. And I think he wants to calm the green down. Is he going to need him down in the stretch? He goes, I can't afford to lose you. I can't get you in even more foul trouble. And he goes, we got to be smarter on offense. Look for the open shot. We desperately need a bucket. 
right now. We, are, we can't let them play their game. We've been controlling this game. we got to keep control of the game. All right, as the inbound coming into West, K.J. Coles with the three-point basket. That's what they needed right there. K.J. Coles for his third three-point bucket, his 10th point, and the lead now down to one for East Stroudsburg South. You mentioned earlier, Mike, that they really desperately needed a three, and it couldn't come at a better time. He gets checked out by a trainer. He says, I'm okay on the basketball court, buries the three. And a huge basket, and defensively, Looking to really make an impact here, maybe to force a turnover. Chapman coming in and saying, I'll stop that run as he gets the two-point bucket. Jane Chapman. Jane Chapman doing a great job on both ends of the floor tonight, especially offensively, stops the bleeding for this East Stroudsburg South squad. Shot up no good as Mateo taking an opportunity there. A three-point lead for South, looking to add to it here. Jay and Chapman with the left hand, and Mateo is getting called with a reach in there. Sixteen points tonight already for Jay and Chapman. Sixteen points through three quarters. You can't sneeze at that. No. Santos looking to handle the ball here. Hands off to Patterson. And Chapman slides a little bit, able to regain his footing, dipping off to Santos. And underneath, he had Jamal Watts, but he was not able to handle it. And an opportunity to tie the game here, coming down at the end of the third quarter. And this is going to be interesting if we have a tie game to so start quarter number four. I think if you would have called Coach Rich Williams how that first quarter went, and we're going to go tied into the, go tied into this, go tied into the fourth quarter, he would have taken that. Juju Pagan bringing it up here, approaching 10 seconds to go. KJ Coles three-point bucket. KJ Coles, his fourth three-pointer ties the game at 38. East Stroudsburg South looking to answer with Santos back iron off, no good. Tie game. 38-38 between East Stroudsburg South and Pocono Mountain West. What did we just say? KJ Coles back-to-back -back threes after getting checked out by game trainers. Comes back into the game and brings it back. Ties this game going into the fourth quarter. What a quarter we have in store and what a game we have on our hands. And that's coming up next. A very impactful performance by KJ Coles, among others. We'll finish it out from Pocono Mountain West. You're watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke's Sports Medicine. Do you suffer from nagging neck or back pain? The St. Luke's Comprehensive Spine Program can get you better, faster. We're easy to access and don't require a referral. We'll call you, discuss your symptoms, and put you on a path to healing with the most appropriate provider. Call 1-866-ST-LUKE's, option 6, or fill out the online form. Interested in a medical career? Consider St. Luke's if you want to be a doctor or a nurse. Based in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, we are the area's only four-year medical school and the largest provider of medical residencies and fellowships, and the country's longest-running school of nursing. Train at an organization that is nationally recognized in education, patient care, and quality. See why we are ranked the nation's number one teaching hospital. Where you train matters. The best doctors and nurses train at the best hospitals. And welcome back to Pocono Mountain West High School as we got a good one for you. We knew it was going to be a tie game to start the fourth quarter between East Stroudsburg South and Pocono Mountain West. Thank you for joining us this evening on the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke Sports Medicine as Xavier Carnegie gets his first points of the evening with the bucket. Good time to get your first points of the evening when your team desperately needs something positive on offense. Mike Raymond and Derek Moore with you here from Pocono Mountain West as we've got a great one here this evening. Turnover again by Pocono Mountain West and that has been a theme as Chapman gets blocked by Brito and another turnover going the other way. KJ Coles had the big three, layup and good to tie the game again. Defense turns in the offense. Brito's doing a good job down low controlling, it, controlling the boards, blocking, 
doing it all, finds KJ Coles. I don't know what the athletic trainer and, and KJ talked about, but it seemed to work. <laughs> it seemed to work as right. Nice screen getting Chapman open for the three-point bucket. And Chapman continuing his dominance of the evening, giving South a three-point lead here. 6.30 to go in the game. Doesn't have that feeling that we might be heading to overtime. Has that, feel, has that feeling that this is going to be a good finish, Mike. As Juju Pagan handling the ball. Still waiting for him to take over this game. That was one thing we kind of discussed, but it's kind of been KJ Cole's show here in the second half. Nice spinning pass as Brito up and good. Bucket and the foul. Counter punch, counter punch, counter punch. And Brito answers down low, drawing the contact as he takes another up here. KJ Cole finding Brito down low. Gets the roll, gets the bounce, and he'll go to the line for the and one and an opportunity to make this a tie game once again. Adrian Brito having an excellent day. And of course hits the bonus and ties the game. 43 all, six minutes to go. Seventeen points by Adrian Brito to this point. A huge impact by the six-five sophomore, and that was one thing that Coach Rich Williams said. Brito, when he's good, he's great. He's only fifteen years old at six foot five. Yeah. And the way he's playing the game, he's not playing the game like a sophomore, and that's why he started varsity as a sophomore and making such an impact for this team. Holy moly, he's had quite the impact. And a turnover on the baseline, and Pocono Mountain West will take the possession here. Devin Artis bringing the ball across midcourt. Passes off to Pagan, who's up for the three-point basket. Rolls around no good. Coming the other way with Logan Santos. Spins away, off the glass, no good! And it looks like a foul on the court as Jamal Watts was looking to get that rebound up. Are they going to call that a shooting foul? Looks like they are as we take another look here. Logan Santos driving. Great spin move. Everything but the finish. Jamal Watts, however, there for the rebound. And they went, they've ruled it a shooting motion. Watts off the back iron, no good. Four points this evening for the 6'3 senior. He is a 50% free throw shooter on the year. And 0 for 2 this time. Still tied, 43 all. As West gets the possession, looking to set a screen there. Pagan coming off the screen. I think he wanted to shoot that one. Opted for the possession, reset the offense. Coach Williams yelling out instructions to his team to see what he has in store for his possession. Another opportunity for KJ Coles here. And looks like Logan Santos getting called for the foul. Doesn't Brady agree. Bear coming in for West. Doesn't agree with it. Dayday -Day Smith heads to the bench. Four minutes, 42 seconds on the clock. 43 all from Pocono Mountain West. Pagan waiting for Bear to come off. Bear sets the screen. Pagan to his right. Through the legs, going to Bear. Wide open in the corner is Devin Artis. I don't think anyone sees him. A defense collapsing around Coles, and as they should. Speaking of Coles, no good. Quick one in transition as Patterson looking to go up. Gets the foul off Pagan. Little bit of contact on the way up. And Michael Patterson, the 5'8 senior, will go to the line. Let's take another look real quick. 
Great time to Patterson. Pagan just a little contact, just enough to get the call. Patterson goes to the line to shoot two. Huge free throws from here on out. As an Eagles fan and a 49ers fan, you don't want to have the officials involved in a game like this. I would actually, I agree with that, Mike. <laughs> that wasn't really enjoyable to watch when officials insert themselves. <laughs> Four points from the, on the evening for Michael Patterson. Not good from the first of his two shots. A 70% free throw shooter on the season is Patterson. As we as we get later on to this game, three straight three straight free throw misses from this East Stroudsburg soft squad. They get one to fall there, but those free throws can loom large, especially in a quarter in game like this. Keep an eye on those, Mike. One, one of two from the charity stripe for Michael Patterson. Five points on the evening. One point lead for South. There he is, Adrian Brito, looking to make his presence felt once again. Big force in the middle. Pagan looks the drive. Does up. Good. What a move inside by Pagan. Draws a contact, goes to the line to shoot, the and one. And I believe this is the very first lead of the day for Pocono Mountain West. Besides early on when they had led 1-0, but one they nothing, finally yes. have the lead now. Pagan working inside, draws a contact, splits two defenders, gets it to fall. Pagan gets the extra shot here. And good. A 46-44 lead for Pocono Mountain West. Like you said, Derek, the first time since they led 1-0. And, oh, somebody's being called, and it looks like it's Mateo. Brito thought it was on him, and I, and I was tending to agree. It was yeah. not on Brito. Let's take another look here. So Jay and Chapman will shoot two here. Pocono Mountain West crowd coming alive, trying to assert the home, home court advantage. Chapman able to sink the first. I think the crowd senses how big of a matchup this is as it loom, uh, all these points are looming large and we're tied up again, Mike. Two for two for Chapman. Again, a 76% free throw shooter on the year. KJ Coles bringing the ball down for Pocono Mountain West. Yeah, I was about to say, it's about that time we go back to Brito. Smart play by allowing that ball to fall out of bounds by Brito. Approaching the three minute mark, a tie game at 46. West with the ball here. Nice stutter step by Pagan. Not able to connect, but Brito there for the rebound. Double teamed, up no good. Pagan there for the rebound and bucket. Great heads up play by Pagan, not having a body on him. Says, I'm gonna go get this rebound offensive board. Come away with a second chance opportunity. Gives his team the lead once again. Michael Green looking to shoot. Shot fake, gets it to Chapman. No good, Patterson up with the rebound, no good. And the ball will stay with South, a two point Pocono Mountain West lead, two minutes, 31 seconds to go. And East Stroudsburg South will have an inbound play under the basket. Looking to tie the game or perhaps take the lead. The intensity ratcheting up here from Pocono Mountain West and two of the best teams in the EPC this year on display in full force. A great two-handed maneuver there by Michael Patterson for the bucket, tying the game at 48, approaching two minutes to go. Michael Patterson has been huge for this team in not only this game, but this quarter. Juju Pagan looking for the three-point bucket. He nails it! He nails it! What were we saying? He has to come alive in the second half, and he has done so. Resulted in five straight points for him.
And this is what Coach Sean Munford says. You just can't give them a little bit of breathing room. Great block on the play by Mateo. Minute 30 to go. Pagan with a good poke check. Finding players underneath that basket. There's just, they keep regenerating underneath that East Stroudsburg South basket. And it was Logan Santos who was finally the difference maker. Rich Minute 10. Rich Williams is going to want a timeout. I think that pos defensive possession is really frustrating them as they had gave up third and fourth chance opportunities. And it gave them an opportunity to cut that lead to only one now with 109 remaining. We want to thank our. Sponsors at Gross McGinley, the world of name, image, and likeness can be complicated in the high school and college athletes of the Lehigh Valley need guidance to navigate the complexities of endorsements and sponsorships. The sports law attorneys at Gross McGinley are dedicated to educating and assisting the area's local athletes on the ins and outs of NIL. Call 610-820-5450 or visit grossmcginley.com for more information. This is the game that I wanted to show up for, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> One point lead for Pocono Mountain West at a game where they had to battle back to get this close. Approaching a minute to go in the game. Th again, this is what we expected from two of the top teams in the EPC. Two of these teams in the top two teams in EPC, last few games remaining in the regular season. These are the types of games that you live for as an athlete. Let's see what both these teams have in store. If you're East Strasburg South, I'm curious to see what you tell your guys if you gave up a lead like that, what you're telling them. I think right now you ruin your preach and get a stop. This is a big possession as if they you can't give anything up all defensively right now. A one-point lead for Pocono Mountain West. It'll be Brady Bear inbounding the ball for the Panthers. And K.J. Coles, as he tends to do, will bring it up. Coles, the 6'2 freshman guard, and probably the biggest moment of his career to this point as we are under a minute to go in the game. West content, running some clock here. Riddo to Coles. They're looking to trap here. And it looks like Rich Hill, or excuse me, Rich Williams calls time out there. And probably a good thing, because KJ Coles looked like he took a couple steps. Yeah, I think that was a very smart timeout. And a little bit of an inexperience right there com coming to show from Coles. He's done ma ma my magnificent job of really coming alive in this team, bearing a couple of huge threes to call, help his team fall back and come away with a, a one-point lead right now. Smart timeout by Coach Rich Williams. 15 points for K.J. Coles. Certainly a, a uh, consideration for, uh, for player of the game. But of course, uh, Chuchu Pagan, making sure that he, you're, we know that he's one of the best ones out there as well. And he really stepped up in this quarter alone. Buried a big three, had a big second chance, big second chance opportunity, and he buried it, giving his team the lead again. 19 points to this point for Juju Pagan. And we have an inbound right in front of us as Brady Bear looking to get it in once again. KJ Coles getting it over to Brito. Again, trapping the ball. And some of the crowd getting uh, a couple words in with the referees. 44.2 seconds to go on the clock. And Coles goes to the bench as Brito will shoot two as there was a foul on the play. Big free, free throws for the freshman right now. Again, only 15 years old and coming up really huge in this game tonight. Back iron no good on the one and one. Possession with South, down one, 40 seconds to go as Logan Santos brings the ball up. Obviously, Jay and Chapman, you knew he was going to get the ball and the bucket for East Stroudsburg South. Big bucket for East Stroudsburg South by Ch Jay and Chapman. Pocono Mountain West looking to get over midcourt as they find Mateo in the corner. Three-point bucket and good, the answer. And this big bucket for Mateo right there. He had a couple of looks early on, wide open. He gets one to go. Under 10 seconds to go, in and an out of bounds call. Ball goes to Pocono Mountain West. Two-point lead for the Panthers. 
under 10 to go here. This place is electric. Back and forth, like I mentioned to you earlier, Mike, counter punch, counter punch. And right there, Jin Chapman just didn't realize where he was on the court. This has been one for the ages here this evening, and the crowd really bringing the intensity down the stretch. 54-52, Pocono Mountain West. And wow, what we just saw in that counter, you mentioned it, that is the theme for the evening is counter punches. Yeah. And who's gonna be standing at the end of it? Yeah, and right now, I mentioned earlier, Mike, there's been a few times where Mateo has been open in the corner, and he was open in a corner, they've lost track of him, and he makes him pay. Well, it's how many how many players can you guard if you're East Strasburg South? Yeah. You gotta worry about Pagan, you gotta worry about KJ Coles. Adrian Brito has been really uh, successful underneath. Mateo was just the odd man out and he took advantage of his opportunity. Yeah, that's what makes this team so good. They have multiple guys that can beat you and because they're just so deep as a team and their depth is showing offensively. Under 10 to go here from Pocono Mountain West coming out of the timeout. East Strasburg South just turned the ball over on the baseline. So Pocono Mountain West is going to have to get the ball in and looking to foul right away has to be the Cavaliers. Once again, Brady Bear will be the inbounder on the play. Curious to see who they try to get the ball to. Probably their best foul shooter. And Brito coming from all the way across this court. The 15-year-old 6'5 sophomore forward who's had quite the impact tonight is the one who's going to the free throw line. Seventeen points this evening for Adrian Brito. Mention his last free throws were big. This one's even bigger. Hush falling over the crowd as Brito up no good for the one and one two point lead for West. An opportunity to tie or even win for South. Chad and goes. Loses the handle, it'll stay. It'll stay with South. 1.5 seconds to go, an opportunity for one final shot if they get the inbound cleanly. Right now you have multiple options. You can play for the win or you can still play with the time due to the amount of time, 1.5. Very curious to see what Coach Munford is wanting to do if he wants to go for a win in front of this hostile environment. And a couple of fans getting a little bit too vocal and is being shown the door here. But again, tempers are hot. Tempers are hot in this one. It's uh, a very closely contested game, a game where South had led for most of it. And Pocono Mountain West asserting their dominance, coming back and almost has completed the comeback. A one and a half second duration to see if they can come fully all the way back. It's going to be really interesting what Coach Williams is telling his guys in this huddle. It's almost he has to play a guessing game what Coach Munford's going to do. Like he, we mentioned earlier, Mike, both these coaches know each other extremely well. Let's see if they can outthink, both of these guys can outthink of each other. It's going to be very difficult to see. So, one opportunity to tie or win for East Stroudsburg South. Underneath the basket will be Michael Patterson trying to inbound it. And it all comes down to this, folks, so strap on in for one final play from Pocono Mountain West High School. South with the inbound. Santos, Chatham up and no good! And Pocono Mountain West has come all the way back and they win 54-52. Your final this evening, Pocono Mountain West, an amazing win at home here. Great win, great overall win. He had the corner look that he wanted, and if it would have went, they would have won the game, Mike. Corner three, great, great play coming out, and great job, has the hands out the pitch to ball out on the rebound. Great job by Pocono Mount East battling, or Pocono Mount West battling back on their home court, coming away with a huge EPC win to keep first place for them alive on the west side. 15 points for KJ Coles. And the Pocono Mountain West Panthers go to find their fans. 
And an opportunity here to speak with the player of the game. And we're going to go down as Derek Moore is with KJ Coles, the 6'2 freshman with 15 points this evening. Neil Thanks, Mike. I'm down here with Fisher Levin, player of the game, KJ Coles. KJ, what an atmosphere had. Take me through your performance in this team win. Uh, you know, it was a great game. I knew, like, when we were down, especially in the beginning of the game and throughout the game, I had to step up for my team. You know, offensively, we weren't, we weren't looking so well, so I knew I had to step up, make big shots and stuff, and I think that helped. What does it say about your team battling it back through adversity in this game? A lot of your shots weren't falling, but you still stuck with it and escaped with a win. What does it say about your team battling back? I think it says we're, we're fighters. We're definitely fighters, you know. We were down to be down the whole game and still come back with a win. That, that shows a lot. So, you know, we're fighters. Thanks, KJ. Good luck the rest of the season. And that was KJ Coles, your just 11 sportscom player of the game. As we're down here points. with Coach Williams. Coach, what a win and what an atmosphere you guys had today. Take me through the team's performance. It's a roller coaster. Um, I don't know. South's such a great team. They're so well coached. I, I just I have a ton of respect for, for, for their program and Coach Mumford and what he does with his players. Um, you know, we know we were, it wasn't going to be like first game. We knew that. We knew they were going to fight. We knew they were going to claw. We knew they were going to scrap. I told my guys at halftime, like, I, I, th I thought in the first half we fought, but we weren't smart fighters. And I explained to them at halftime, you know, dumb fighters lose. You keep fighting, you know, and, and I don't think we're ever going to stop fighting, but we had to get a little bit smarter in the second half. And I, I, thought, I thought we were smart fighters in the second half. I thought we, you know, if you're going by rounds, I thought we absolutely, you know, kind of kind of won that, that second half. And we, we, we stayed close enough in the first half to keep them, you know, to keep them honest. Take me through the performance of Coles and Brito, two of those guys, young guys, freshman and sophomore, stepping up in the second half. Coles looked like he was injured, comes back with two big frees. Brito getting rebounds, getting blocks for you guys. What do you take me through those two guys with take me through the two performances? I, I can't I, I'm so proud of both of them, but but KJ Coles got hit really hard there and obviously he, he was hurt. And I have a thing where like I don't like my guys to come out of games. We preach toughness here. We preach, we preach physicality, and KJ being a freshman and, and staying in the game, and, and I know he got kind of forced to t be taken out there, but he wanted to stay in, and him getting right back in the game and knocking down big shots and playing the way he did, I just, uh, it tells me that he's listening to what we're, we're preaching and, and how we're coaching him. And Adrian's just a man child. He's, he's 15 years old and he's a big, we call him, you know, we used, we used to call him Big Pamper because he was a big baby, but he's starting to be a, he's starting to be a, 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 a big man now. And, uh, you know, you kind of saw him grow up right before your eyes tonight. I'm really, really proud of the both of them. They both stepped up and, uh, and gave us big minutes. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations on the win. Good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming up. Appreciate it. Mike, back to you. That was head coach Rich Williams of the victorious Pocono Mountain West Panthers. They moved to 16 and 4 this season, 11 and 3 in the EPC, and what a heck of a performance, Derek! As you got to talk to the player of the game in KJ Coles, and 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 wow, well, I don't know what he, what the trainer and KJ talked about, but that was an impressive performance. And again, Coach Williams saying toughness, he showed it, he exemplified it, and especially for him to lead like that shows an example of him stepping up as a leader. Mike, and he buried those threes. He came back. He brought his way back, and I think he's going to earn some bonus points with his teammates for burying those threes and showing toughness tonight. All right, let's recap a little bit. When we come back, we'll take one final commercial break, and when we come back, recap the game, give you a couple of scoring finals. You're watching the D11sports.com Game of the Week presented by St. Luke's Sports Medicine. Hall of Fame pitcher Steve Carlton knows what it takes to exceed expectations. He knows what it means to be part of a team that rises above the competition. He knows a champion. Steve Carlton knows St. Luke's Orthopedic Care. At St. Luke's Orthopedic Care, you can trust us with your hands, feet, 
shoulders, hips, and knees. Because healthy bones and joints mean you can do more. You can trust us to recommend the right approach to care, including joint sparing treatments and therapies. And when surgery is the only choice, we offer options to help you heal faster, including technology-assisted joint replacements and muscle-sparing hip surgery. St. Luke's, the orthopedic care you trust, now more than ever. Welcome back to Pocono Mountain West High School here. Mike Raymond, Derek Moore, and we just watched an all-timer here as Pocono Mountain West comes all the way back and wins 54-52 over East Stroudsburg South in a game where uh, really both teams gave it their all. We knew we were going to see a jam-packed uh, night of, of amazing basketball, and it really did disappoint in one way or the other. No, it didn't, Mike. And, you know, this is not just only the things on the court, but the atmosphere here was great. You could have felt how big of a matchup this was for both these teams and both these schools. Both these teams' fans came out, and what a game that we had. Pokemon Out West calling all the way back and coming away with a victor on their home court. So it was Jay and Chapman leading the way with 23 points for the game in a losing effort, but we don't want to you know, completely forget about what he was able to do this evening. A very impactful game for him. They, was not, they weren't able to stop him early, uh, but did definitely uh, stop him late. Uh, we got 19 points from Juju Pagan from Pocono Mountain West, 15 points from KJ Coles, and uh, 17 points from Adrian Brito. Any one of those three could have been our player of the game, but I think the heart that was shown by K.J. Coles really exemplified why we chose him as our player of the game. And, you know, like I said to you, like I said to you, Mike, off the air, he led as a leader tonight for his team, especially as a freshman. And what Coach said to me during the interview, that he, preached, he preaches toughness to his team, and a freshman displayed toughness tonight, coming back from injury, burying much-needed freeze in this second half and coming away with a win. I want to thank th St. Luke's, which is the region's largest sports medicine provider, covering more than 200,000 student enrollment and 40,000 student athletes in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, covering eight counties and providing the most comprehensive and advanced treatment for athletic injury. St. Luke's offers athletic training, orthopedic care, physical therapy, and concussion management, plus sports performance training for individual athletes and teams during these extraordinary times. You can trust St. Luke's sports medicine to provide extraordinary care. Thanks to Ken Sidlow, Dr. John Haas, Steve Andrews over there at St. Luke's. I want to thank Sean Riley and the coach are the guys from Sports Fan Base Network here, Jack uh, Cap and Dale Mountney. Uh, they are up there running the cameras for us. Uh, thanks to Dave Micah, Al DiCarlo, who's watching from back home. For Derek Moore, I'm Mike Raymond. You've watched the D11sports.com Game of the Week, the final 54-52 Pocono Mountain West with the win over East Stroudsburg South. We'll talk to you next time here on D11 Sports.